Hey guys, so I got another, uh, got another, uh, what do you call it, uh, video for you. I'm going to show three programs that I'm using right now. First one, I'll show you here. Okay, so that's called hovering controls. I'll show you that after I show you this. This is lock screen. This is active uh, lock screen. So to get into the, once you start it up like this, to get into the, uh, settings you can go right from the top right and it brings you right here active lock screen settings so it's enabled you can click your shortcuts um, I didn't have any there but uh, for my apps you can designate uh, what apps you want for it to show up when you click the my apps the camera whatever you want designated for when you hit the camera and I'll show you that in just a second so start up again so when you move this circle over here, you go to call, these are the most recent calls, it shows you, right? Go here, these are the, my apps. And if you go here to my camera, it goes to the apps that I designated that uh, I want to show up, you know, related to my camera stuff. Um, and you can also control the volume right from when you open up over here. You can go like that, now it's in that mode, now it's in, uh, you know the regular mode unlock you can either move this that way or this this way to unlock fully unlock so that is active lock screen now you can also let me see let's try that again I think I turned it off okay let's turn that off Let's try it one more time. Because I also have a program set in the back so that it resets. It kills all the apps when I turn it off. That's called fast reboot. So sometimes that interferes. Is this on? Yeah, it's not on. Let me see. Hover controls. Okay, so now it's on. All right. Let's try one more time. What is going on? Hmm. Ah, it's not on. Start. Okay, so now it's running. You see it on the top. All right. Try one more time. Okay. That's usually what happens when I double swipe it. So you can change this also you can go change your themes let's go to black theme uh, you can if you load more it'll go actually I'm going to turn my Wi-Fi off turn that sync off okay um, all right so let's let it reset it takes a couple seconds to reset the the theme let's try it now Okay, so that's the black theme. The icons also change, so that's pretty cool, right? Most recently used apps, right? So that app is called Active Active Lock Screen. You can get that at the Play Store. All right, so the next I'm going to show you is Hovering Controls. So I'll show you that. Okay, so it started. I have it set, configured so that if, if I hover, hold, uh, speed test uh, fires up, slide once, uh, YouTube will sh start up and slide twice, slide it twice, uh, maps, Google Maps will uh, start up. You can also go carousel, if you go carousel on, then you can set what apps you want for it to start up. So if I swipe, let's see. So if I swipe once, Black Mart will start up. If I swipe twice, Calculator will start up. If I start three times, swipe three times, then the camera will start up. So let's let's hold and what starts up? Speed test, right? And if I sl swipe once, Black Mart starts up. And if I swipe twice.
and maps starts up okay so let's go back to the settings once again this is hovering controls right hovering controls right up here and you can get that get that for free uh, if you go on the top right and click settings alternative detector I have that checked off so that you can swipe either way you're not consistently have to go one way I have it start up on boot and as you can see it does a lot of stuff here uh, highest notification by on a swipe um, your uh, music controls answering your phone quick glance so this is pretty cool uh, so I'm not gonna unlock it but I'll show a quick glance of my uh, lock screen so turn that off and swipe twice uh, actually I think it's the swipe once there so I just showed you that your battery how many messages you have if I swipe once if I swipe once maybe swipe twice yeah I don't usually use that setting so okay so let's go back into the settings for hovering controls uh, show quick glance I turn that off and usually just unlock phone that's what I have it used for but you can use it to pot your camera right and if you're rooted you can have it uh, to slide up and down it shows you here slide down slide twice up uh, for your browser and also your gallery while you're in pictures so um, so we did the hover hold turn that off because I usually have this off turn this off and swipe twice so you basically just have to control remember everything that you've uh, done so far um, what else so that's hovering controls and you can also get that at the Play Store uh, the other one that I really like this is actually copied off the new iOS 7 that's going to be released for iPhones and uh, it has a little bit more actually than they have which is nice so you have all your toggles up here um, I like this because when I swipe down on mine this is the HTC One X and it's stock and this is as good as it gets for me right now so I don't have the toggles up top I'm not rooted so I don't have that um, I'll have to go this way and it's a pain in the butt so I'd rather just swipe up okay so this is called um, right here easy controller okay so you can get that for free easy controller at the Play Store um, so that's enabled hot if I go back to my hotspots so if I go to hotspot you can uh, see the what do you call it the uh, line back here if I move it to the right it'll be on the right at the bottom on the left and that's basically where you're swiping from I have it on the bottom and you can adjust the width the height whatever you want uh, let's go back music folder I don't use that well, actually I did yeah you, you designate where your folder is so that you know where to pull up music from so if I go back I swipe up and Wi-Fi data Bluetooth GPS your minutes for how long it, it stays on for um, your orientation to lock it I like that too uh, and you can use this on any screen so if I fire up my Gmail you can fire it up there uh, pretty much any screen you're on browser and you're like oh I want to do my toggles so I can rotate right and also works in this orientation so I really like that that's cool so once again swipe up uh, then you have your sync you click that it frees up some memory for you freed up some memory there for me uh, what else your auto screen so you can go auto brightness like that and turn it off or just manually control it the way you want um, you also for your music right so
And you also have volume control for your meteor down here too. So you can control that if you can swipe up. So I like that. I like that a lot. And then you can bring that all the way down. Now, on the bottom you have toggles here. Uh, default, you have your flash, your LED turns that on. Your maps, I have a set so it uh, turns on maps. Uh, for the calculator, it, it'll pull up your default calculator, but I have it pull up another calculator that I use. Um, if I click that, it'll pull this one up, air calculator. I like air, air calculator because any screen that you're on, it, you can move it. And if you swipe once, it'll go to your, uh, what do you call it, your scientific calculator. If you move up here, you can adjust the opacity. So I really like that, that's cool. And you can also make it bigger if you want. You can move it around, right? Swipe, copy, paste stuff, and you can get rid of it. So, swipe up again. Um, <clears throat> camera, if you, and if you swipe once over to the left or right, you have these uh, programs that you can designate. So, I have a set so that's air, air calculator uh, starts up. This is also free. You can also get that at the app, at the market uh, marketplace. Um, what else? Swipe up, and to change it, change these different apps. You can go, and you just long hold on it. When you let go, then it says choose camera app. So then you pick the one that you wanted. So I would want. Uh, I just saw it. Camera. So now when I swipe up, that's the one that starts up, All right? See, that's the one that starts up. So uh, that is pretty much it. Um, so I showed you hovering controls, All right? Hovering controls. I showed you easy controller, which is this one with the toggles. And that is, oh crap. That is easy controller, this one right here. Let's go back. Was that easy controller? So let me make sure I'm giving you the right names for it. How about us? Yeah. Easy controller. Right? And that is this. And the other one is on the lock screen. That is this one. And that's called active lock screens. And that you can also get at the Play Store. Active lock screen would be. Hmm. That's weird how that turned on like that. Let's turn that off. So we'll wait a couple of seconds. And then swipe twice. That's the hovering controls. Right, so this is the active lock screen. You can unlock this way, change your uh, sound mode, and right, recent calls that I just had, recent apps, and these two you can designate what you want. That's it. And see, you can go directly to your settings right from the lock screen. I really like that. That's it. Hope you liked the video.